Well, it looks like Amazon finally did it. They took down the developer option on your Fire devices, whether you have a Cube TV or a Fire Stick, the latest update will eliminate the developer option. So what does that mean to you? That means that installing third-party apps is not possible, or is it? I'm gonna share with you today in this video how to get that developer option back so that you can do those third-party apps. We'll do it really quick on today's video. Let's go. All right, got you really quick on the screen. Let's go into settings really fast because I wanna share with you really quick uh, the developer options. This is it right here, and this is where you would turn apps from unknown sources on or off. Right there, that's where you're going to do it. Well, with the latest update, it is no longer going to be there. Uh, right now, they've done it on the Cube and some of the older sticks. The Mac should be coming very, very soon. So well, let's go ahead and install the update right now, and we'll see if it disappears. Because as you can see on this older Fire Stick uh, 4K, I do have the developer option at this time. So we're going to go ahead and check for updates and download the latest version, which looks like it is 6.2.9 at the time of this video. Now, uh, typically an update only takes a minute or two, but apparently this is a really big update, so it could take a little bit longer. I've heard it take up to 20 minutes for some people out there, depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi. It shouldn't take that long for me, but we'll find out here in just a few seconds. Now, while this is updating, why did they do this? I, you know, I, I don't know why, but they just wanna make it harder and harder for people to do these uh, third-party apps. There's so many great ones out there and there's really no reason. That's one of the benefit of having a Fire Stick is being able to do that. So it looks like it's restarting now. Um, the initial update, it tends to do that. It just starts restarts your Fire Stick and then it will install the latest software. Now, um, it looks like it's gonna take a little bit longer. So I'm probably gonna skip ahead in this video just a little bit. All right, so we're five minutes later into the update and it's just starting to finish. So it is again restarting, bringing up the Fire TV logo and it should bring up the home screen here in just a minute. It took about five minutes for this update, which isn't too long at all. I just didn't want y'all to have to sit through the entire five minute update for no reason and listen to me talk. So here we go, we're on the home screen. Now let's go into settings really fast and see if the developer option is now gone with this latest update. Open up my Fire TV, and sure enough, it's gone. It's not there. Did they move it? Well, let's go to About and see if maybe they moved it over there. And let's go ahead and click on it really quick. And no, nope, it's not there either. So it's gone. It, we can no longer put third-party apps on our Fire Stick. Well, that's not true, and I'm going to share with you really quick how to do it. Now, it's actually not that hard to do. You need to go to My Fire TV About and highlight over your Fire Stick and click seven times. All right, I've already done three, four, five, six, and the seventh time, there you go. You are now in developer mode. So let's go back and there it is, developer options. Click on that and you'll be able to see. Let's go ahead and click on it really fast and there we go. Apps from unknown sources. Now our Fire Stick is once again unlocked. You now have developer options on. You are a developer of your Fire Stick. I think everybody that owns a Fire Stick should be able to be the developer of your Fire Stick. It's silly um, that they just don't allow that. And by having that on there and having these really cool apps, I mean, you can add apps like this one right, right here. So that's a really good one. And there's a ton out there. And uh, there's a latest update of that app I just highlighted over. Um, that we share on our Patreon. So if you're not a Patreon member, you definitely should be. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about Patreon and find out how to install these third-party apps, we got all kinds of tutorials on there. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Just click that link and you'll be able to get over to our Patreon support channel. If you guys have any questions about this video or any other videos, maybe you got a new Fire Stick and you need to learn how to set it up. Well, we've got videos on that on this channel. So make sure you do subscribe, comment down below any questions you might have. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks everybody. Bye.